Doc, um, let's start. Yes, Viewer sir. questions today. Let's and let's start with the first one here that's after someone receives the vaccine, can they still be a carrier of the virus? Will they still need to wear a mask and social distance? Two important questions there, two different answers. First of all, we don't usually use the term carrier with COVID-19 because mm -hmm. we don't think at this point, a year in, that it can remain latent in your system for years and years and years the way, let's say, chickenpox virus can. Uh, however, you can be exposed, have no symptoms, and then pass it to someone else. When you're talking about the vaccine and the post-vaccine kind of protocols, we don't know. We haven't heard anything about that. That's where the medical and the public health kind of merges into the legal and the ethical and the social and the political. We don't know yet. Um, you know, my thinking is that it'll probably take a week. That's what the data in the clinical trials have shown before you get an immune response. So I don't think right now we're going to be, oh, you're a week after your second dose. Take the, take the mask off and go running rampant. Hopefully down the road, yes. I want to see people's faces again. <laughs> <laughs> One more here, and this goes to what you often talk about, how much we're still learning about yeah. this virus and what we don't know. Question three, I read that erectile dysfunction could be a long-term effect of COVID. Is that true? It certainly could be true. And again, we're seeing vascular effects. A lot of people in the world of clinical medicine and scientific research are calling COVID an infectious vasculitis. So it's an infection that then affects the blood vessels and the vascular system, erectile dysfunction is generally a vascular problem for men and a very big one, not just for the man, but for the couple. So we're going to be following that. It is right now generally accepted to be a surrogate marker for cardiovascular mm. disease. So a man with erectile dysfunction should be evaluated for cardiovascular disease. We don't yet know if we'll get to that point with COVID. All right, Dr. Ashton, appreciate you as always. You and folks, keep your questions coming to Dr. Ashton. You can send them to her on her Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.